Hello, hello. Welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. Cancers. Okay. <laughs> I haven't even looked at the cards yet. We have the Venom and the Village. <laughs> um, the Nectar, the Hunter, the Healer, the Mentor, and the Queen. Oh my gracious. And the Mother. <laughs> Cancers. Okay. So, I mean, I guess I'm going to start with the venom and the in the village because I just feel like there's been for an extended period of time in our lives, um, you know, for however it resonates for any of us. <laughs> I feel like there's just been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of feeling limited by, you know, other people's perceptions of you. Um, and I think in spite of that, really just kind of holding on to that, because if you, if you let go of that, like, what do you have? And and I feel like there's been, like, there's a shift. There has been <laughs> just a shift where you're going very quickly. I don't know if you're coming in with the, I don't know, like I just kind of get the, <laughs> you know, like, like the, it's not an owl that I'm hearing in my head though. It's like one of those things that screeches like a, like a falcon or something, you know, and like on the hunt, you know what I mean? And just this very like, like eyes above, eyes, eyes below, you know, like I'm moving forward, but I'm moving forward, paying attention to all of the things, because if I don't, I'm going to be stuck in this like singular perspective that is so absurd. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but it's like, in order to really go for what it is that you want and bring healing to, I mean, the queen is influence, right? I feel like that was in our last read or a recent read where it was just like, I just want every, like if everybody would just shut the fuck up, <laughs> right? <laughs> but then feeling like, like it was actually quiet, right? Like you could actually think long enough to articulate a sentence, you know what I mean? But it's like, once you've been allowed the opportunity to articulate a sentence, you are able to very quickly bring healing to things that I think just like weren't making sense before. I just feel like there has to be this, this like cutting of a cord, you know? Answers. <laughs> Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, Queen of Hearts, Eight of Wands, some quick action, the Fool, the Moon. You know, I just feel like this, oh my God, it was there and then it was gone. Oh, okay. I love story, right? <laughs> My degrees in literature, like I have, I love books, I love reading, I love writing, I love all of it, right? Um, and as a result of me loving story, uh, I would often have it laid against me that like, that I was just making up stories. You know what I mean? But the reality was is that everybody else was making up a story and accusing me of it. So it's like when I finally speak the truth, it's like, like, this isn't, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's not what you think it is because it's never at any point, like, I'm the only one who's not been making up stories here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's that feel though. And... <laughs> and I feel like standing in your truth and cutting these cords and, and very like, just 
as above, so below. Like, I see where I'm going. And if I have to get there on two different paths at the same fucking time, then I need to bring these two paths together. You know what I mean? That is that feel. And it's like, okay, so now I am bringing these two paths together. However it plays out for you as an individual, <laughs> you know? But it's just like, like, I just feel like you're, you are going somewhere you haven't been before. The fool is not totally prepared. You know what I mean? Like the fool is following his following his intuition, is allowing the path to present itself as it as it comes. Um, you know, without the concern of how he's gonna get to where he's going because he's just on and on along for the ride, you know? <laughs> like and I feel like there's an energy of releasing something that enables you to to be along for the ride of of something that you're like like this is exactly what I want to do this is exactly where I want to go and I guess what that would mean would be that you'll enjoy the experience <laughs> because it seems like it's a good experience you know the queen of the heart the queen of hearts and or queen of cups and queen of swords you know it's just kind of like I feel like it's, even though it's, I feel like maybe it's real, you know, because I feel like the Queen of Swords is no bullshit. And it's like, okay, yeah, it's real, but, but it's real, <laughs> right? That's kind of that, that feel. I'm going to have to watch this again because I don't even know, like, what I should make the title. <laughs> I feel like usually by now I know what the title should be. <laughs> Um, okay. Cancers. Eight of Cups, Seven of Swords, and Two of Wands. Well, I mean, the Eight of Cups is just kind of this idea of, like, feeling like you're missing out. Seven of, of Swords is, like, dude hasn't heard the call yet. He's just sitting around twiddling on his thumbs. You know what I mean? And I feel like, Cancers, there's been a part of us that's felt that way. You know, like, I feel like there's still so much more that I could be doing. And yet, you know, like, what do you do? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but I feel like you're finally stepping into, a, like, something that is enabling you to not just feel like you're sitting around twiddling your thumbs. Like, what, what am I supposed to do? Right? Like, I feel like that's been a question. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords twice. Queens are coming through though. I mean, but again, it's like, I feel like when you're honest with what you want to do and why, you stand in your truth, you stand in your power, you stand in your truth, you stand in real love. Like, you know what I mean? It's just kind of like, stop honoring everybody else's way of doing things and start honoring your way of doing it and you will see the results accordingly right <laughs> I just kind of get the feeling that like you were like you're holding on to something that's just really blocking your blessings and like letting it go and seeing like all of the blessings appear and it's like well you know like if you're holding on to something you're not meant to be holding on to like it'll get taken from you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that clock will, will run its course. The gym and Gnosis. But I feel like there's just an idea of, I don't know why I just think of like, like if something's falling down around, like, and you just make it out at the top. And you just fly off, you know, and you're like, well, I learned a lot from that. But like, namely, you learned your own value because you couldn't accomplish anything until you realized that you had value. And, and that's not always an easy lesson to learn, you know? <sighs> All right, Cancers. Well, I hope this resonates with us. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Please give me a like, share, and subscribe if it does. And I will see y'all again soon. Bye.